I was 18 years old at the time and I had moved to the island of Oahu in Hawaii. I would see so many girls that were so much younger than me, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. It was back then that I started this journey and interacting with the girls on the street and reaching out to them and learning their stories, the forced abortions to the pimps and traffickers that would take their sons and take them to school and pick them up from school, from the debts that were incurred uh, from traffickers bringing them to Hawaii and telling them that they needed to pay off their debt before they would be able to return back to what they thought was their normal life. I started to learn that the word prostitute that we equate so much with choice is widely misrepresented and that the more accurate word to be using is prostituted and at that time I had no idea that it was going to amount to in 2010 to be founding an organization called Freedom that would go on to be one of the leading organizations in Canada to fight human trafficking. Freedom has played a very intricate role to help fund the rescue of over 280 victims to date. 87 percent of those have been Canadians. This January, we were approached by an incredible woman named Ashley Elliott, who actually attended our Freedom Walk two years ago in Toronto at the Fairmont Royal York. I had the opportunity to travel to Bangkok, Thailand. And when I arrived, we actually went that evening to the red light district. And what I saw were men that looked like they were from my home country, were actually picking up and carrying young, Thai girls and then they are brought into this red light district to dance, to take their clothes off, to be brought at night during the day to hotel rooms to be raped by Western men. Right here in Ottawa, in Gatineau, men can go and have sex with these girls 10, 12, 13, 14 times a day. I joined up with Free Them in Toronto because they've been doing this for the past five years and bringing so much awareness, bringing so much money to this issue to help get victims out, to make them into survivors rather than victims. The Freedom Walk 2014 here in Ottawa for the very first time, it's so exciting because hundreds of people are gathering together to proclaim freedom over the city. We're gathered at the Ottawa Convention Centre to hear from the top speakers on the issue of human trafficking in Canada, from the Minister of Public Safety, Stephen Blaney. We need to be uh, socially responsible. To the Deputy Mayor of Ottawa, Steve DeRoche. We must speak and act for the people who need our help. Many do not have a voice of their own or the ability to defend themselves here in our own neighborhoods and across the world. We're also hearing from a survivor of human trafficking, Simone Bell, sharing her story of how she was able to get out of the industry and survive and help others. It's like having you know, one of those dreams where you're in big trouble and you're screaming for help, but nothing's coming out your mouth. And we also get the opportunity to hear from a police detective, a detective that has worked on the ground with these victims and really been able to see what is happening in Ottawa in the area of human trafficking. How honored I am to be asked to speak today. The Freedom Walk and all of the effort you've put in here for the inaugural walk is incredible. Then taking to the streets to walk, to really show people who don't know about human trafficking, maybe have never even heard of the topic of human trafficking, to show them that this is something they should care about, that it is something that affects them, and that they actually can have a voice and they can make a difference. that people in this city will wake up and realize that they can help these girls, not to shame them, but to actually provide the hope, provide the hand up to these victims who so often have been pushed aside and told that they're worth nothing. But we can actually tell them, you are worth everything and that we want to be there and we want to help you get through this time.